Hello, everybody. Um, I have with me again today Pastor Lathan Snyder from Seabreeze Ministries, and he is my pastor and also Les's and my son. Um, something that has been on my heart um, just recently is, and that's what I titled the name of this video, is you do not want to enter into 2021 without Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And I say that with a burden on my heart and an urgency as to what lies ahead. And I know that in this at this time of year, we are hearing people say um, how 2021 has to be better than 2020. And the sad thing is, um, I don't see how we can read the Bible and, and think that it will be. Now, those that are in the Lord Jesus Christ, we have his presence with us every moment. And so that in itself is a precious blessing to us. But I would really like to hear Pastor Lathan's um, insight with it. And he preached a sermon this past Sunday that was absolutely incredible. And let's see, it will be um, released this Sunday morning, which would be the first Sunday of 2021, should the Lord tarry, um, that is entitled In Time Departure, and it will be released at 9 a.m. this Sunday morning, and talking about the preparedness for 2021. But um, Pastor Lathan, just what are some, uh, if, they, if they listen to your sermon this Sunday morning, they will have a lot of answers. Um, to what we're talking about, but just some thoughts that you might have where we need to be in being prepared for what lies ahead in 2021. Can you share with us? Well, we're hearing, you know, I'm sure everyone out there is hearing the same thing that, you know, like what you just said, 2021's got to be better than 2020. And my, and our thoughts are that when we read the Bible and we take it literally. We just read it and we understand it by the, the Holy Spirit giving to us. We know that in the last days, the Bible says there will be a falling away. Yep. There will be a departure from the faith. And you mentioned the message uh, that's going to come out this Sunday about mm -hmm. end time departure. That's really yes. what it's talking about is a departure from the faith. And when we understand that in the last days there would be a falling away, an apostasy that would come, yep. to then think that... You know, our better days of America are ahead of us. Mm -hmm. And there is going to be a, a worldwide revival. Right. Uh, you know, all of our opinions have to be taken from God's word. And there are a lot of people, preachers, uh, famous ones that are on television who are all promoting an end time revival. But I think what that ends up doing to us is it get, makes us fall into a trance that everything I, I there's not an urgency of getting right with exactly. christ there's not an urgency that i i need to if, if i'm towing the fence if i'm if i'm playing games with god there there it gives an urgency that i have time yeah and this is not what the scripture teaches That's now right. is the time for salvation yes. we don't want to enter into another year without christ as our savior if we are a christian and but we're just kind of being lazy in our walk and relationship with the Lord, uh, we don't want to enter this new year with that still as our mindset of things are going to get better. Instead, I think scripturally, we need to come at it as as a soldier preparing ourselves for, for battle. We Amen. are we are in a warfare against the powers of darkness. Yes. And if there is ever a time to get right with God, now is oh, the time. And that's what the Bible says. Yep. You know, I also see people wanting to, and I'm not saying this to try to like be a hammer, but if it's a wake up call, that's what I want to do. But it's like, there are many that have a bucket list that I see a, rather than an urgency and a preparedness of getting out of here, watching for the Lord's return, it's it's digging their heels in that I have a bucket list that I have all my life wanted to do that whether it is I want to get married I want to have children I want to have grandchildren they almost are 
like the Lord can't do that to me to come before I see grandchildren. And I, I look at Luke chapter 14 where Jesus warns. He says that for all things are now ready. And that was over 2,000 years ago. Yeah. And yet he lists the excuses. Look up um, in Luke chapter 14. Well, can I read it here? Mm -hmm. Chapter 14, where Jesus says, Then he said unto him, A certain man made a great supper, and bade many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all, with one consent, began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and must go needs and see it. And pray thee for me to be excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen and go and do, I have to go prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. Another said, I have married a wife, therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and, sh and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in the poor, the maimed, the halt, the blind. Jesus goes on. I mean, he is commanding people to come and be ready. Mm -hmm. There actually isn't things wrong with buying yoke of oxen, that kind of thing. But see, it's their hearts. They were still here. Right. Wanting the things here. Guys, is that us? Are we really... Wanting Jesus to return this very moment? Or is our heart really wanting him to delay so that we can do yet this one more thing? That is death yeah. to us. Yeah. Well, you know, that scripture kind of comes alive when you, that was written 2,000 years ago. Jesus said that. And, you know, when you take that in our lifetime, you know, the yoke of oxen could be like a car, uh, our homes. Uh, I was at um, Home Depot not that long ago, and a guy was saying how uh, this year, 2020, they had seen so many, um, w so much work done to people's homes, and everybody was buying things, uh, whether they were on quarantine, so they were just putting money into their yeah. homes or whatever. Yeah. But they, we were talking about how everybody was, you know, throwing themselves into renovations and stuff, and you know, rather than and there's nothing wrong with that, but if that's what is consuming our life of, of I can't get ready for God, I can't put Jesus Christ first because I'm, I'm busy doing this. Yeah. Or, you know, it says, I, I just married a wife. And how many times do we hear people blame their wives? You know, I can't go to church. I can't do this because yeah. of my wife. Yeah. And, um, you know, we, we just can't do that. We've got to make it, settle it in our heart that... Yeah. I'm going to be ready for the Lord's return. Yes. I'm ready right now yes. for the coming of the Lord and that nothing gets in the way or prevents us from, from doing that. Jesus tells us to watch and pray. We have got to be, to be ready. There will not be time to be ready because that's actually a thermometer. Is that what I want to say? Or a, a showing um, of our hearts. Right. We've got to be ready. Yeah. Well, oh, go ahead. Ahead. nope, go on. Well, you read in Luke, and I was looking here in Matthew 16, um, verse 24. It says, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. So, exactly. you know, that's what Jesus is asking. We break those down, deny ourselves. It's not my will, but God's will. Uh, take up our cross, and we just follow after Jesus. Yes. And then he goes on, he says, Whoever will lose his life, or whoever will save his life will lose it, uh, but whoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Yes. And then he says this: For what is it? What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? So you know, our the the soul of 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 mankind is the most valuable thing. Yes. That we have. I mean, yep. I mean, God has given us a choice, and we have to choose. We choose where our soul goes for eternity. Yep. And, you know, we can forget completely about the eternal state of our soul. And we just set ourselves on the natural. Yep. You, know, you mentioned the bucket list. And yep. I don't know how many times I've heard people say, I want Jesus to come, 
just not yet. Or they say, I want to go to heaven, but I don't want to go today. And all of these are, our heart is planted here on this yeah. earth, in this life. We're looking at that which is carnal and will burn up. It, it won't last. Yeah. And that's what we're living for. Yeah. Uh, whether it's our homes, our cars, our, our, our retirement fund, whatever. It's putting the emphasis on the, this world and not on an eternal state that yeah. is yet to come. Yeah. The value of a soul. And that's where we have to be always, as believers, preaching it to and looking to our own soul of, am I living for the eternal yes. rather than the natural? And out of our mouth exposes our heart, doesn't yep, it? That's what it says. And so, what you just shared, there's so much people, so many times people say, "Don't judge me." Well, see, we're actually exposing ourselves as to where we, our heart really is. Yeah. Um, we don't want to be in denial as to what is really going on. We are getting ready. This is Wednesday, what, December the 30th. Tomorrow is the last day of 2020. And many are saying, good, you know, it's going to be gone. It's got to be better ahead. We know that according to the Bible, it will not be. Um, you know, we hear so much about conspiracy theories. I actually, I looked it up. What is one? I, I believe that a covert organization is responsible for circumstances or events, a covert, not openly shown. Well, see, in all honesty, isn't that what people all along have thought about the Bible? God is, ha, is and has told from day one everything that is going to happen. Yep. Will we open our ears and hearts to hear what his spirit is saying? He is proclaiming. He is saying, children, those that have your heart to my, to, to my, your ear to my heart, proclaim. Set the trumpet to your mouth. Proclaim that people will know because I have told them, I have forewarned through my word. But who wants to hear? Yeah. In Revelation, he has even told what lies ahead. Are we not wanting to see? Are we not wanting to um, be proclaimed as a, as a fanatic? But see, Jesus is not of this world. And if we are ashamed of him yeah. and of his ways, he will be ashamed of us. I don't want... To be ashamed when I stand before him. Yeah. I want to have done everything that he has asked of me. Not of my own flesh, because that will burn up. Will be nothing. But we have got to line up to the Father's will. Are we? Are we willing to watch, to be alert, and to proclaim because if Jesus is not our Lord and Savior, entering into 2021, we will not be anchored for what lies ahead. When you picture a big whirlwind, a big tornado, if you are not in a shelter, and Jesus promises the Lord, in, in Psalm 46, 1, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. If Jesus is not that for us in 2020 and in 2021, we won't make it. Yeah. Well, I feel like 2020 was a test mm -hmm. and... If we didn't pass the test in 2020, then we're not going to pass it in the coming year. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and I know in you know my little world uh, where I live, uh, there was a lot of people in the spring that they got you know we, we call it you know jailhouse religion when people get right with mm -hmm. God when they get in trouble or or whatever. But in this situation, it was a lot of people were were talking about getting right with God, but yet. 
they seem over the summer and, and in, even in presently as things just kind of start to settle in, God has lost, they've lost interest in God. They've lost interest in their eternal state of their soul. And they're again looking to the outward and looking to the things around us. And all of this is is a testing of our heart. This yes. whole year has been a testing yes. of hearts. Every on, heart. Will yeah. we get right with God now? Did it take this to, to shake us to the point of getting right with God? Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, we're, we're, God is still giving grace. He's still yes. ex extending the wall or holding back the waves of judgment, however you want to word it, mm -hmm. of waiting for people to come in. That's the love of God. He loves yes. us so much that he is holding back his wrath, yes, he waiting is. for each and every person who would possibly surrender their life to him that and is right. be given the opportunity to choose. And that's what we're in right now is the age of grace. Mm -hmm. But that, that time is coming to an end. The Bible tells us that's this. Right. There is an end of that, that age of grace. Yes. And there is a point where the wrath of God is poured out. Yes. I don't know if that's coming in this next year. It very well could be. Mm -hmm. I don't know what. It could be yet in 2020. Yeah, it could be today. <laughs> yes. I, we don't know what we the don't. future holds no. in, the, in the sense of recent. But we can read the God's word and we know what the long-term future holds. Exactly. And like what you were saying well, of we just ears. getting into God's word. Yes. Do we believe it? Yep. Talking about conspiracy theory and all that yep. stuff. Yep. You know, God's word is just written. And you either believe it or you don't. That's right. And if you read it and you believe it, I do think you're going to look fanatic. And in this last day, if you're not a little fanatical looking, yep. then I don't think you're really li living for God. You're right. not really making the choice to be sold out to Jesus Christ. Right. Because in this world, you're going to look silly and a little, a little off. If you're truly living God's word you as it bet. tells us. You bet. Because we are not of this world. Right. And so if we're blending in, yep. goodness, we stri we swim the opposite direction. Yep. If you are truly born again, God is not of this world. This world is governed by the enemy yep. of our soul. And we, you, we better be swimming in the opposite direction or else we are going in the wrong direction mm -hmm. eternally. You know, um, I, I, in closing, the last thought I had here was there are so many that long to see America be made great again. We hear that so much. And to, I think that when our heart is truly wanting that over eternity, over our true home, yeah. over God, God's kingdom being great and being in the, in, to the hearts and lives of souls, that right there is a telltale sign where we're anchored. Because we care more about what we see, our home here on earth. Caring, yes, we don't want our children raised in communism. We don't want our children and grandchildren raised under the, the iron arm of Satan. Of course we don't. So, are we truly preaching the real truth? that our children and grandchildren will be born again and be ready for Jesus Christ's return. Amen. That is where if we are right and understand the signs of the times and understand the Spirit of God moving, what is about to happen, we will not be so concerned that our children will have peace and safety, safety on this earth. But where will their souls Amen. spend eternity? Yep. Yep. You know, we're talking about America, but I'm seeing here that, you know, we have, there's people watching all yes. around the world. Yes. And, you know, the events that have happened this year has not just been an American That's thing. That's true. Fact, it wasn't long ago at church, a person had said to me that the whole situation of this year was all about the election. 
And I said, I don't think so, because I think when the election is over, this is going to stay, because this is all coming down to a one world order, an, yes. a one world government. I'm glad uh, you brought that in. Things, you know, the Great Reset and all of these things yes. that people are talking about that are taking place in 2021. Uh, and and the agenda that is being pushed towards yep. this is worldwide. It's not yes. an America thing. Mm -mm. It is all over the world. Every one of us are being funneled towards the same thing. Yep. And that's why this really isn't about America that's or about right. any of these. It is about the end times, the coming of the Antichrist, yes. who will set up his kingdom, which God is going to destroy. The, yes. the the vision of Daniel, Ooh, glory, the, or the vision of Nebuchadnezzar in the book of Daniel. Yeah, there was the the feet mixed with iron and clay, and that is where we're at now. Where we're at, and that rock that was cut out without hands came forth and crushed those feet. The whole <laughs> the whole <laughs> government of that of that statue collapses is ground into powder and the wind blows it away. Yes. And that stone that was cut out without hands becomes a massive mountain. Yes. And it fills the land. Glory. And that stone is the Lord Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, it and is. And his soon return is what we're looking towards. Yes. This is what we have to be ready for yes. in, the, in the future. And so this affects the whole world. It yes. is the whole world that, that is, is being funneled into this agenda because yes. God's word has said it. That's right. And so we know how the book ends. We know <laughs> the hope that we have and the victory we have in Jesus Christ. Yes. And so that kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ is very soon to be set up. He's going to destroy all other kingdoms, yes. all other governments that man has exalted and that the devil has been behind. You oh, mentioned yes. earlier that the Bible says that Satan is the ruler of this world. Yes. He's the prince of this world. Yep. Jesus Christ is going to defeat that once yes, and for all. Yes, he is. Uh, we read in Revelation there's a uh, there's going to be the thousand year reign of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Guys, after, this is going to happen. And after Go that, uh, Satan will be released just for a, 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 a period of time yep. from the bottomless pit. Uh, he will again deceive the world yes. and turn men's heart against God. I mean, that's phenomenal to think that for a thousand years, Jesus Christ is living in perfect judgment yes. in this in this world. And yet man will still deny him and, and turn against see him. him. There yeah. won't be a walk of faith needed at that time, right? right. Well, he'll reign in this world in this. for the thousand yes. years according to the scriptures. Yes. Uh, and yet Satan will still deceive. Yeah. Uh, but then the Bible says... Jesus destroys him. Yes. Takes him, throws him in, in, into the lake of fire. Yes. Hell is picked up and thrown into the lake of fire and then begins the perfect age yes. forever and ever and ever. A new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. The new Jerusalem will be already descended down from, 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 from heaven. Yes. And so these are all the hope, the hope that we have. Now that might sound like a conspiracy That's theory. That's what I was just thinking. To the unbeliever. But mm -hmm. if you read the Bible. If you are born again. And you're a Christian. You and know. You know it's the truth. Yeah. So this is where our hope is in 2021. Not setting up a, a new, a better government here on earth, a, a better home. Uh-uh. It's what is for eternal. That's right. Yeah. That praise the Lord if that does not get you excited and show God has told us if yeah. we have ears to hear that will abhor witness if that did not bear witness with you I would have to say the word says that if the word that we preach the word that is from God's holy word preached and that people do not accept it then they do not have the Holy Spirit. No. That's what the Word of God says. So I would beseech you to right now repent of your sin, Amen. to call upon Jesus Christ, because what Pastor Lathan just got done sharing is the truth. That is what God has told us. None of us need to be caught off guard. It is what is going to happen. That's what everything is winding down for. And 2021 is going to be a puzzle piece to it. It could very well be the time of the rapture that all of them, this is going to be being set up, the one world government. It's all winding down to it. So do not enter this next year, 2021, without Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. He is the only Amen. rock. He is the only answer. He is the only salvation 
of to mankind, the only one. Pastor Lathan, would you lead us in prayer in closing? Anything else you want want to tie in, and then and then pray and that anybody that does not know Jesus yep. that has fear. Yep. Fear of God, good, but fear of, of what lies ahead. They need to get anchored in Jesus. Amen. The Bible says that whosoever would call upon the name of the Lord would be saved. And God has made it so simple. He's made it, he, he's, he's paid the price at the cross. God sent his son to come into this world, to be born of a virgin, to take upon himself the form of humanity that he might bear our sins upon himself, that he might be crucified upon that cross. So God has done everything Thank you, Jesus. where man couldn't, God did. Yes, and so did. if you're not right with God right now, wherever you're at, if, if you know that you are straddling the fence or whether you've never been born again or whether you have strayed from the Lord and you're just kind of sitting on the fence, you don't want to enter this new year without Christ Jesus as your Savior, That's without right. fully trusting in him. Yep. And so now is the time of salvation. Now is the time to get right. And he said whoever would call upon the name of the Lord would be saved. Yes, he So did. call upon Jesus wherever you're at right now. Call yes. upon Jesus Christ. Believe in your heart. Confess your sins yes. to him. Uh, call upon him. Believe that he died for your sins. He took upon himself your, your and my sin. Yes, he did. And he died for us. And then he rose from the dead because he is <laughs> the son of the living God. Yes, and when he glory. rose from the dead, he proved that the cross worked. He yes. proved that the resurrection is the same promise that you can have. That's that you right. will will one day live forever with him. That you can be That's forgiven. Right, Jesus. So yes. call upon him right now. It doesn't take no uh, ritual or anything of the sort. Jesus did it all. You can't do it. I can't do it. Yeah. Jesus did it. Yes. Call upon the Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. Want to pray? Yes. Amen. Yes. Wherever you're at, just call upon the Lord. Call out to him today. Yes. Heavenly Father, we just ask you that you would touch uh, the dear, precious people out there. Yes. That, Lord, you would take this and take it as far as you want mm -hmm. to reach those that you would have to be reached. Yeah. That, Lord, those that are not right with you, that they would get right today. That they would not enter into this new year without you as their That's Savior. Right. That they would have the insurance oh, and the oh, assurance yes. <laughs> of Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Yes. Father, we pray that your Holy Spirit would go forth. The enemy would be bound the the deceiver, the liar of our souls would be yes. gone. And that, Father, you would send forth your spirit to draw us into the perfect truth. Yes. And we give Lord you praise. Jesus. Whatever lies ahead, yes. we know that if our faith is in you, we will overcome this world. That's right. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Have faith in God is what Jesus says, amen. Mark eleven twenty two. Let's have faith and trust in God. Amen. God bless each and every one of you.